I'm not as well rounded as I wanna be. More like a hollow, that's your empathy. Hey guys, I am Killian from the band Charming Liars. We are two thirds English and one third Southern Californian. Um, I am, though obviously by my accent, the, the guy from Southern California, and uh, my bass player Mike and my uh, guitar player Karnik are from uh, England. Um, so I'm gonna answer five questions for the reviews are in. Get ready. So if I could listen to one record just on repeat, I you know from beginning to stop and not stop on one track or skip anything, it would probably be Third Eye Blind's debut record. Um, so as a little kid, you know, growing up in the '90s, I remember hearing, you know, you know, Semi Charm Kind of Life and Jumper and you know, Graduate on the radio all the time. And I remember uh, the first time I listened to that record and in its whole entirety, I was blown away because every song on that record, in my opinion, is an achievement of songwriting. Um, not only are the lyrics just unbelievably crafted and um, not lazy in any in any way, like each lyric just kind of leaves you hanging on to the next one, um, but also the um, way each song is structured. Uh, it's just... If you want, if you want a crash course in how to uh, just write a song, I think that's the record to go to. Um, not to mention, it's an amazing record because some of the songs really dive deep into some really strong subject matter, but they play it in a way where you kind of, if you're not listening to the lyrics, you have no idea what they're singing about. Um, like, look up the lyrics of Semi Charm Kind of Life, and you'll be amazed that you've been singing along to that song your whole life without noticing that it's actually about doing um, questionable substances. So the first record I ever bought, um, I remember I must have been, oh man, like maybe fourth grade, third grade, I went with my grandfather to go buy a Walkman. And I bought that Walkman specifically, I don't know why, I had to get uh, Baha Men's uh, first record, Who Let the Dogs Out. I remember being a, you know, I was a pretty young kid, and I, that song was like in pretty much every animated movie up until that point, and I, I bought that record specifically for that song, and listened to all the other songs on it on repeat, and I remember the look from the guy who worked at the store, he was so shocked that I was buying that record, um, and that was the first one I ever bought, and I, I, I actually still have it, and I have it uh, in a safe place where nobody can ever find it. Um, except for me when I want to walk down memory lane. That was my first record. Yeah, most people it was like, you know, an Aerosmith record or, you know, a record by Van Halen, but they're lying. It was probably uh, Baja Men Who Let the Dogs Out, just like me. My first time on stage, I will never forget it. The stage was only like maybe a foot off the ground, so it wasn't like you were really elevated too much from the crowd, but um, I remember being so nervous. Oh God, I was so nervous. I had looked up all of the uh, the different, um, you know, because my 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 range as a as a singer and uh, and and the knowledge of of the technicality of it was was so limited up until that point. You know, uh, basically the way I started singing was I uh, originally played guitar, the original gateway instrument, right? Gets you into everything else, um, every other instrument, and. I had heard this band, this local band in, in my area, and they were like, they sounded like all the bands I was into at that time. They had like the Metallica vibes and the Iron Maiden vibes, and I was like, yeah, that's the band. But they needed a singer, so my goal was to join the band as a singer, kick out the guitar player, and then just get another singer. The guitar players were way better than me, so I just stuck to singing. Um, and I remember getting on stage and just being like, whoa, what am I doing here? And uh, you know, the lights, I remember, like, the lights were so warm. Like, I mean, you kind of get used to it as you as the years go by and, and you start performing more and more, but I remember just being kind of blown away by, you know, how hot it was up there. Um, and uh, it went by pretty quick, and I remember at the end just being like, whoa, I just put a rock show. Um, and I think I have video footage of that first uh, time on stage. I'm not going to tell you the band or the, you know, where to find it because... Oh boy, is it interesting. But uh, I remember that time. It was, a, it was a very exciting time though. 
something people might not know about me, um, I am a massive World War II history buff. Um, ever since I was a young kid, I would read anything I could get my hands on that was World War II related. Um, what kind of sparked it was my great-grandfather um, was in the uh, paratroopers in World War II. So as a young kid, I would always hear all these stories about him. And as I got a little older, I started doing more research and, and kind of diving deeper and deeper, not into just uh, the paratrooper history, but just the history of World War II and all the, everything involved in it. It was a very fascinating time. Um, for the world. I mean, the eyes of the world were upon those battlefields. So, uh, our bass player, Mike, he's also very, very interested in the Second World War. So, him and I are always talking back and forth, and we're always bugging our driver um, whenever we're in Europe uh, to stop here, or stop there. Can we go to Bastogne? Can we go uh, to all these different places? And we drive the rest of the band absolutely insane with it. Uh, I regret nothing because I think it is so fascinating. So that is something you might not know about me. So if you ever meet, if you ever meet me at a uh, at the merch booth or after a show, or you just see me randomly on the street because you're totally gonna remember me, you won't. Um, <laughs> you know, let's talk World War II. I'd be very interested to hear uh, different little facts that you've picked up along the way. A band or artist, I think people should be paying more attention to. Um, I think. They have a fair share of people that are paying attention to them, um, to be fair, but I have met a lot of people that have never heard of them, but The Midnight, not just Midnight, The Midnight. Um, if you like uh, 80s electro, like, pop, they're pretty awesome. Um, they are definitely a band that uh, over the last year I've been really listening a lot to, and um, just, just really cool music, so check it out. Well guys, if you've enjoyed uh, hearing me ramble on in front of this bookcase, wonderful. I think, uh, or I hope that you'll check out our music on Spotify uh, for Charming Liars. You can also find us on Instagram and Facebook and all of that, uh, TikTok, you know, all of that, uh, all the fun social media platforms. Um, but uh, also just be on the lookout because we're releasing new music pretty much every month and new music videos too. Um, so. Would love to have you at a show whenever shows start to happen again. Um, but thank you guys so much, and uh, have a wonderful day or night whenever you watch this. Not as well rounded as I wanna be. More like a empathy. I handle.